Hey, I see pavement. The streets got plowed this storm, at least some of the streets for some of those who get by with wheels. This is West Yale Avenue between Irving and Sheridan. On the outside of the lanes, you can see the green bike lane markers. You can see them because those sections are protected by bollards and thus get plowed by the city. But the entire stretch is not protected by bollards and the city does not clear those areas. So cyclists have some plowed bike lane, then they have to join traffic and then more plowed bike lane. It's not just visually that it looks silly, but it also looks inappropriate. Uh, if someone were to bike there, it's not only inappropriate, it's not safe. West Yale Avenue is part of Denver City Councilman Kevin Flynn's district. He was part of meetings last year about the creation of the bike lanes, which included the results of a city study on how many cars come through here and how fast the drivers go. 9,400 cars travel this 30 mile per hour section daily. The city found 85% of the drivers go 37 miles per hour or slower westbound and 39 miles per hour or slower eastbound. Based on the speed and volume, a protected facility would be appropriate for this corridor. However, based on feedback we've received, we're going to try installing a buffered bike lane first. To force someone back out onto the, uh, the vehicle lanes is, is simply not safe under the parameters that you just discussed at the from the meeting from last year. The protected parts of the bike lane get this front end loader that we saw this afternoon. The buffered parts of the bike lanes look behind the front end loader over here. Those parts only have road paint between the car lane and the bike lane and the front end loader skips those areas. In conditions like this, uh, we simply have to clear the buffered area along with the protected area. The challenge, Marshall, though, is I got to get ready then to get about 50 calls from people who live along Yale who just cleared their sidewalks as Marshall Zellinger reporting. Spokeswoman for the city department that plows the road said that buffered bike lane section should be addressed on future passes by the big plows if they're really going to come down a street that already, well, looks plowed, right? She also pointed out that it's only been 24 hours since the snow stopped and the city is still running plow routes to widen the lanes curb to curb.